If you clicked on this video, then you're probably familiar with style icon, Instagram influencer, Paola Cosentino. I love this woman's style. She is just such a queen. I thought that it would be a fun exercise to pull some of my favorite of her Instagram photos and recreate the looks. I love these types of videos where creators will take a celebrity or an influencer or some sort of like icon and recreate the looks. And so I thought that Paola Cosentino would be a cool person to try and like recreate her style because she's got such a unique style. It's very vintage and classy, um, but then she also adds like a nice modern twist. And so I'm only using items from my closet. So let's see how close we can get. Also, disclaimer, I totally butchered the pronunciation of Paola's name in the first time that I recorded this intro, which is why I'm about to have an outfit change right now. If you're new here, then welcome. My name is Lisa Gabrielle and I make videos on fashion and wellness and lifestyle, and beauty and all that kind of good stuff. So if that kind of content interests you, make sure to hit that subscribe button right now so you can join the fam and you don't miss another video. I upload videos every single week, so definitely consider joining the fam. I'm also going to leave my Instagram and TikTok in the description below. I post there on a more like regular most day basis versus YouTube is weekly. So if you're interested in that, that'll all be down below. Okay, so for this first outfit, usually I'm a best for last kind of gal, but today we're starting out with best. I think this was the first outfit that I ever discovered from Paolo. It definitely elicited a follow from me because I think she just pulls it off so effortlessly. And like, I think I actually have a really good selection of items to work with to recreate this. I think aside from the thickness of the belt, I've got the pants, I've got the tube top. Obviously I don't have like the sweetheart neckline that she does, but you know, you do what you can with what you have, right? especially in times like these. Because I'm pulling items from my closet, I don't necessarily have the links to them, but I'll mention them in case there's anything that really stands out to you and you can see if it is still available. So the pants are the Aritzia Effortless Pants in the color Birch. And this tube top is just like a basic $10 tube top from Simon's. I got it a couple of years ago. They might still have it, but any tube top will do or corset top if you have that even better. And then the belt that I have is a H&M belt. I think this outfit it is so beautiful and it works for daytime like a more like a fancier kind of daytime look or it works into nighttime as well i've worn this kind of similar construction to this outfit and i got lots of compliments so recommend this outfit for you guys especially if you have some of these items in your closet then give it a try i'm sure you're gonna kill it so I love this outfit because it's such a great elevated casual look. You've got the dark wash jeans in a straight leg and this oversized sort of almost like boyfriend's blazer. I'm using my boyfriend's blazer and that just makes it a little bit more on the trendy side for right now. And then she paired that with these gorgeous sandals with a very small heel. Now I didn't have this in my closet. The closest thing I had were loafers, but I feel like the loafers still encapsulate this vibe and they still like execute the whole look pretty similarly so i think the integrity of the look is kept she tends to tie her hair up a lot which i love a ponytail i find it like shows off your cheekbones it shows off your face it's put together in an effortless way and if you can pull off curtain bangs i am so jealous of you because i just don't think that my hair type would be able to handle it i've actually only ever had bangs once in my life i was 12 years old and i was really excited to get them and then i realized that i just don't have the hair type for bangs so that was it. Maybe, maybe one day. Drop me a comment if you think I should get bangs. <laughs> so the loafers that I'm wearing are from Coach. The jeans are from Everlane. They are, I think they're the cheeky 90s straight leg jean. And of course the blazer is courtesy of my boyfriend. I love this next look for summer. I think that the blouse balances out the shorts in a really proportional and beautiful way. I think it works well. I think it's cute and it still keeps that effortless chic vibe in all of her styles and looks. The red lipstick always adds such a retro feel. It elevates the look, it makes it more feminine because the shorts are a little bit on the masculine side, I guess, because they're kind of like that cargo-y looking short. Um, but my version are actually a little bit more on the dressier side. And I picked those up at Aritzia. I think they're called the Ibiza short. And then my blouse is also from Aritzia. Um, you can tell I like to shop there. <laughs> 
I don't remember what it was called. All of their blouses are fantastic at Aritzia. They tend to run oversized though, so just FYI. But this one has this interesting, like almost linen-y type of material. It's not linen, but it's a linen like blend or like imitation linen. But you can obviously use any blouse that you have in your closet and rock this look. Okay, this next look is just mm, chef's kiss. It's giving me major Chanel vibes. The shoes, the glasses, the little frills on the sleeves. Absolutely love it. Unfortunately, I don't have white heels. I had to pair them with these black Zara pumps, but I did have this circle skirt, which I've only recently started wearing. It's from American Apparel back in the day, and I just held on to it, so that was like a good match. And then I recently got this top in the Zara sale. I think it was $10. Crazy, love it. But I wanted to dip my toes in the water of this kind of like puffed sleeve trend. I don't know, I, I'm like fangirling right now. I just think she does such a good job of marrying the old and the new and making everything look timeless and modern at the same time. Oh yeah, and then the sunglasses, which are obviously a very key part to this outfit. Love the Prada Vibe oval-shaped sunglasses. I actually got them in Barcelona at a random little shop but pretty much any oval shaped glasses will do. Okay, this look is very iconic French and I think Paola's done it beautifully as always. Of course, you've got the beret and the striped shirt and the dark wash jeans, which I'm noticing through her feed that she really doesn't do light wash. She really just does the dark wash look. And I think that's a manifestation of her timeless style. So dark wash is always a little bit more timeless and then light wash is a little bit more youthful and like modern, I would say. So I've got my Everlane jeans again, the 90s cheeky. And then I've also paired it with is an Aritzia sweater. I don't remember what the style is called, but you can get these kind of sweaters at Zara as well. Any striped sweater will do, or even long sleeve shirt for that matter. And then of course the beret. This beret is indeed from Aritzia. <laughs> um, I think it's great to have one beret in your wardrobe, at least one, especially if you like this kind of style. It's just a fun way to just add another dimension. I'm here for it. I recommend. Okay, those are my looks. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what your favorite look was and we can see what everyone liked best. Tag me on Instagram if you try any of these outfits. I would love to see them. Thank you so much for watching. If you've made it with me to the end, then go ahead and press that like button, share this video with a friend, and of course, consider subscribing to join the family. I really appreciate all of my subscribers so much and I just love being here on YouTube and you guys make that possible, so. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.